Little do girls land. Hey guys. So as you can see today, I am in a different setting. I'm trying to do different settings for different videos that I'm doing. Um, so my makeup videos will generally be in my makeup room. And my taste tests, my hauls and stuff are probably going to be here. Um, and then my story time videos are going to be upstairs on in the guest room on uh, my grandmother's love seat. So let's get started. The first place we went to is Charlotte Russe and we'll start with the tag top I'm wearing here. It's like a very muted pink color with this white pocket and the white detailing along the um, neck and sleeves. By the way, this is the try on haul so all pictures will be included right here. Um, dang, when was the last time I did a clothing haul? I think it was like a year ago, if not more. Um, I'll link it up there and you'll see how very much different this one is going to be compared to that one because that one was when I was still like trying to learn how to do this and now I'm a little bit more experienced so okay all the pictures of me wearing the clothes will be right here and these are all the clothes but anyway like I said back to the shirt so it's just a little tank top it flows nice and down and it hides my tummy very well and that's You'll see that with a lot of these clothes is it hides the tummy well, and that's the most important part. Um, I got this from Charlotte Russe. It was originally, I want to say like $10, $15, but I got it on clearance for 5 so that's cool. Um, hold on. I feel like... There. Better. Um, but I got it on clearance for 5 and, you know, that's wicked cheap. Um... And it's like good material. Like sometimes you go to Charlotte Russe and the material feels like it's going to fall apart in like two days. This actually, like it's nice and strong and I, it's going to hold up. Next thing from Charlotte Russe is this shirt. I feel like I'm missing a couple things. I don't know. Um, is this shirt. It's a like cream colored v-neck shirt it uh, this is pissing me off hold on a second all right sorry about that i had to fix the camera so back to the shirt it's just a simple cream colored shirt it's nice and big it's a size large um oh and this i think is a size large as well yeah it's a size large as well um and once again it has that little pocket i find this very nice for just you know simple everyday look um so yeah um this was also originally 10 or 15 dollars and again on sale for five last thing i got from charlotte russe was this maroon dress it's long sleeve um, it is also a size large, and it just comes down like that. It's kind of A-line, kind of straight. It's like a good mixture of the two. I love the color. It's like a maroon color. It's kind of short on me, but that's okay. Um, I can wear it by itself. I can wear it with leggings. Either way, it doesn't matter. This was originally $20, and I got it on clearance for 10 um, you'll find with a lot of this stuff, I'm very much a clearance shopper, um, because I don't like paying full price for anything, but there are a couple items in there that are full price, but that's just what that looks like. Alright, next stop was at Wilson's Leather, um, they were having this huge blowout clearance sale where all their leather was where like their leather was from whatever price down to like $32 <laughs> per jacket and I thought that was awesome. So first one I got was this gray jacket. Um, it is leather but it's not all leather. Underneath is just a nice like 
cloth vinyl material, which is wicked nice because sometimes all leather is very constricting. And you can't tell, but you'll see in the picture, it has these nice flaps when it's zipped up. And it just kind of gives it like a nice rocker-esque feel. But it's gray instead of black. So it gives it a nice feminine touch at the same time. And I really love this. I have fallen in love with this jacket. I have worn it a million times. In fact, there's a lipstick in here from when I went down to Boston with Adam's mother. So that just proves how much I love this jacket. The next jacket I got is this one from Wilson Leather as well. This was also on clearance for $32, but it's not leather. It's just a nice cloth jacket. It's like trench style and it's a more formal jacket. It's from the brand Black Ribbit and it I got it in a double XL, which reminds me, this one is from Black Ribbit as well and this one's just a regular XL. This I got in a double XL just because the XL was just a little too constricting and I wanted a little bit more room so I got it. It has some nice structured shoulders, has buttons, really nice buttons coming down the front and it also has um, a belt to cinch in your waist and I just think it's really nice. I wore it to my friend Crystal's re wedding. Why is my hair still up? Um, I wore it to my friend Crystal's wedding. Uh, no, I liked it better up. I wore it to my friend Crystal's wedding and it kept me relatively warm. It was a very, very windy day. So no matter what, you were cold. You could have been in like 20 layers and still have been cold. Um, but it did help and I like the design on the inside. It's a pretty black and white like floral design and I just think it's super cute. Um, and in the picture that's going to be right here for that, I did not button it and tie it I and do like the actual belt thing. I just tied the belt just to make it a quicker process so I can just show you what it looks like on and be done. The last jacket I got from Wilson's Leather is this baby pink peplum one. As you can see, the peplum at the bottom and it has some nice gold um, hardware which is wicked nice um, and also what's nice about this is even though it's all leather this part is like holy which makes it a little bit more flexible than the normal leather and I just think this is super cute again it was on clearance for $32 this is from the guest line and it's in extra large um, and I just think it's super cute um, next store is Savers. If you don't know what Savers is, Savers is kind of like a Goodwill in a way. It is a store where people donate their clothes and you buy it. And But I'm like Goodwill, at least to my knowledge, I don't know for sure, but about Goodwill. But Savers donates a portion of their proceeds to the Epilepsy Foundation, which I don't know if I've ever told you guys this. Hold on, the camera's bothering me again. Here we go. Which I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but my fa my dad has epilepsy, so it's just something really close to my heart. Um, so I just got three things there. Um, but yeah. So the first thing I got there is this white and black button-up shirt. Again, I got it from Savers, but the original place that it's from, because like I said, it's all donation... Can you see that? Can you see? It's from Lord and Taylor. Oh my God. Now, if you know Lord and Taylor, Lord and Taylor is expensive. If I remember correctly, it costs like $60 for a tie. So could you imagine what a shirt like this costs? It's like really nice material. It's like a chiffon material. It's really comfortable and it looks really good on, especially if you tuck it in. I got mine in an extra large and at Savers, Again, I did not buy this at Lord & Taylor. When I got it at Savers, they had it for $12. Like, that's insane! Um, so yeah, that's just what it looks like, and I just think it's super, super cute. Um, the next shirt, um, again, is also from Savers. This is originally from New York & Company. And I got it in an extra large. It's just a really nice navy blue 
um, fake out but button up fake out top with the tan detailing around the top and I just think it's super cute um, it is a little bit longer in the back than it is the front so it covers up your butt if you're wearing leggings and I just think it's so cute I wore this to two different interviews and I just looked so professional but when I got home I switched to leggings and I just looked so comfortable uh, it's just a perfect transition piece and you can glam it up, you can wear it casual, you know, it's really up to you. The last thing I got from Savers is the dress that I wore to Crystal's wedding. Like I told you, I wore that jacket from Wilson's Leather. Well, this is the dress that I wore. Oh, and that blue shirt was also $12. But, yeah. This is the dress that I wore. As you can see, there's ruffles all along the bottom it goes down to my knees and then it's just like a really nice low v-neck dress and i got some bronzer on the inside because i was really dark my face and my arms and stuff were really dark but my chest was not um because of the way my bathing suit was so part of my chest was not so i needed to bronze it up a little bit but that's okay it's just this really nice dusty pink color. Can you tell I'm really into like the dusty pinks right now? And it was just gorgeous and I thought I looked beautiful in it. Um, last minute at her wedding, I had to help her with her hair um, because the person that was doing her hair didn't show up. And when I took off my jacket, because there was a lot of people in there, she looked at me and was like, you look hot. And I'm like, You're, you should be the only one looking thinking that to about anyone about yourself not about me but so yeah that's just what it looks like I think it's super super pretty obviously otherwise I would not have bought it and yeah I was actually going between this one a yellow dress and a blue dress the yellow one just did not look good with my skin tone and originally I was going to buy the blue dress but then I remembered on her that she told me that her colors were blue and green and she didn't want anyone wearing those colors because at my wedding my colors were yellow and navy blue red and white and everyone showed up wearing navy blue so i remembered that like right before i was about to leave to check out and i quickly just switched them so the next dress i got i got at the tanger outlets and this is from uh not the tanger outlets the conway out and this is from the store Bass. It's just a nice white dress and it has like this crochet, this floral crochet detail on the top and at the bottom. Once again, it goes to about my knees. Um, so in the picture, you're not going to see the full dress on me. But I really like this. I wore this when we went to... Um, main for memorial day weekend and i oh, am i holding it backwards no i'm not um and i just thought it was super pretty oh i'm sorry the pink dress i got in a size 16 and like i said i bought it from uh savers but it was originally from dress barn and i got this for 15 dollars. and this is from bass um i got it in an extra large and i want to say this was 20 dollars super cute um the other thing i got from bass were these uh, boat shoes they're kind of like knockoffs of the um <sighs> dang it what's the name um of the sperry's and they're just this really nice like tanny tannish caramel color in white and if i remember correctly these were 30 $30? $35? I can't quite remember, but I think they're super, super cute. They're in a size 9. I did not do a try-on portion with these because, you know, they're just shoes. Um, but I thought these are super cute. They would go with anything, including the dress I got from Bass. And I love them. Um, so, I am going to talk about the pair of jeans I'm wearing. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I, I lied. We're still on Walmart. We're going on to Walmart, not Target. I thought we were doing Target next, but Walmart, then Target. So, at Walmart, I got this navy blue dress, and I got it specifically for my rehearsal dinner. 
and I just think it's super pretty. It's a navy blue, and it's not like up here, but it's a little bit lower. It's super, super pretty. You'll see it in the try-on, and it goes down to my knees, and it has like a really nice cinched in waist, but um, this is just wicked flowy on the top, and I think it's so cute, and it looked so good on me for the rehearsal dinner. I got it. It's from the Faded Glory line at um, Walmart, and I got it in an extra large, which is a 16 to 18, because at that time, I was so stressed out. I was really bloated. I even had to buy a new wedding dress a week before my wedding. So, yeah. Um, it's a little big on me now, but that's okay. Um, I just think it's super cool. The other thing I got from Walmart is this cardigan and I freaking love it. It's going to be really hard to show you in the, this way. It is from their No, Bo no Boundaries collection and I got it in an extra large. Um, it, it's a long sleeve and it has fringe at the bottom. Uh, we got I got this while we were up in Maine um, because we forgot warm clothes. And the camp we were staying at didn't have um, heaters. So this was just wicked convenient. It's wicked warm and super cute. As you can see, it is see-through, but it's still super warm um, and just super cute. I freaking love it. Next thing I got, now we're going on to Target. First thing I'm going to talk is about the jeans I'm wearing. I'm not going to stand up for you to see them because there's going to be a try on portion right here right now um so they're just normal denim blue jeans and they have rips in the knee of course i'm short so the ribs kind of go a little lower than they're supposed to but that's okay um because i've never really had like ripped jeans or distressed jeans or anything so this is kind of just me dipping my toes in it a little bit and that's perfectly okay my highlight is popping by the way, if you like this eye look, let me know down below if you want a tutorial. Um, it's really, really simple. Only three eyeshadows, and it's just wicked nice. Um, I originally wasn't even going to be doing this look today. I was going to be doing another Duper Dud video, but I just wanted a break, and I wanted to play with my single eyeshadows, and this is the result. So, yeah. So, Next thing from Target I have is this blanket scarf. I freaking love blanket scarves. Like, look at this. It's so warm. And it's so big and it's so warm. And I freaking love it. Like, honestly, I need to figure out how I'm going to wear it. Because it's so big. But it's so cute. I love the colors. I think they're just nice, really fall colors. And literally, it's like a blanket. You can just, if you want to look like a hobo, just, oh, turn my scarf into a blanket. And it has, like, this really nice fringe detail on the end. And I just think it's so cute. And guess what? I got it in the dollar spot. And it was only seven bucks. Like, that's so good. Like, I'm so warm right now. <laughs> um, so leave comments down below how you recommend wearing a blanket scarves because I've always wanted one and I never had one and now I finally have one and I don't know how to wear it. I might look up some YouTube videos too, but yeah. Uh, next thing from Target are these jeans. Um, oh, the blue jeans, by the way, uh, were $22, I want to say. Um... Either 20 or 22, I can't remember. And they were buy one, get one 50% off. So I got this pair. And I really like this pair because, once again, it has the hole in the, in the uh, knee. But it also has distressed parts around the ankle. Which I thought was just super freaking cute. And I figured, you know, I could roll it up if I don't like it. Make it kind of super cute but I love 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 the color in fact actually I think this was like rolled up at one point 
think it was like, I don't know. But I love the color. I love like this olive army green color. And I think it's just super, super cute. The only thing I do not like about this, these pair of pants, no pocket. It has the pockets in the back, but they fake out the pockets in the front. What the heck? Like, why? This is from the brand Massimo, and I got it in a size 16. Same with the pant blue jeans. I'm wearing size 16. I'm not positive of the brand. I believe it's also Massimo, but I don't know for sure. Because, you know, well, I'm wearing them, and I ain't taking them off for you. The next thing I got is this dress, and I'm so excited for it. I'm going to be wearing it on Christmas. Because I'm going obsessive over Christmas stuff right now. And it's just this dress. It's a little bit turtlenecky. I got it in a size extra double XL. And it, what brand is it from? It does not say what brand it's from, but it was $22.99. So that's wicked cute. And by the way, because the jeans were buy one get one half off, I think I got the green pair for like 10 bucks. But look how cute this is. It has candy cane and snowmen and bells and angels and mistletoe. Like it's so cute. I can't wait to wear it. And the fabric that they use is like sweater material. So it's super, super warm. And it kind of looks like it's see-through, but I promise it's not. And then I got this romper from the clearance section. Um, I just think it's super cute. I've never owned a romper before. I never thought I really had the body type to wear it. Um, but this one's actually not too, too bad because it is wicked flowy. Um, it's from the Exhilaration line, and once again, it's in a double XL. Target tends to run a little bit small, so I like getting the double XL size just to be on the safe side. And I got it on clearance. Can you guess? It was originally $24.99. Can you guess how much I got it for? $7.99. So yeah, and I do want to look at the care instructions really quick because I just saw a little tag saying that I need to follow the care instructions because it shrinks. Okay, so I need to put it on the gentle cycle. But look how cute it is and I love the little crochet detail at the top. I think it's so 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 cute and it's literally all held together by this button. So if this button breaks off, you're fucked. <laughs> Next thing I got from Target is just this plain white top. You can never have too many white tops. I'm sorry. You really can't because they just go with everything. And honestly, that's like the only way I figured out how to wear that pink peplum leather jacket from Wilson's is just with a white top and blue jeans. I think that's super cute or with leggings, you know, because I'm a leggings girl. And this is from the Mossimo line. How much was it originally? Hold on. Come on, just show me the original price. Hoping it wasn't too much. I mean, don't get me wrong, I got it for way cheaper, but of course, that doesn't say. Okay. Is there another? Okay, so I don't know how much this was originally. Um, it doesn't say the original price, but I got it for two seventy on clearance, and I think it's just super cute. It'll go with everything, and I love it. I love the neckline too because it's not like. <sighs> It's just a little bit lower. It's like a little a little bit of a scoop neck, and it's just super, super cute. Next is a dress I got, um, and I was eyeing this dress for a long time. And I finally bit the bullet because I couldn't stop thinking about it, and my and Crystal's bridal shower was coming up. I got it in a double XL, 
and this is just what it looks like it's a long sleeve it's like a florally paisley design and at the bottom there's fringe it does go down to my knees and i think it looks super cute with the cowgirl boots that i wore on my wedding day and i freaking love this i love the little keyhole neckline and i love how you can either keep it keyhole or open it up i prefer it open just because i'm not the biggest fan of things around my neck like that but that's just me so yeah i think it's super cute and it i got it for 22.99 yes i paid full price Next top I got from Target. I think the rest is all tops. Oh, and one more jacket. And then we're done. This is from the Massimo brand. Um, once again, and again, I got it on clearance. It's just a black and white striped top. And what I like is that around the V-neck, the stripes go in a different direction. So it gives it a little bit of texture. Um, and I got this in a double XL and I got it for two dollars and seventy cents again and I just think it's super cute the next shirt I got is probably my favorite in this whole haul and well, actually second favorite second favorite and it's just this orange cold shoulder top with like really bohemian style sleeves with the crochet and how flowy they are and I just think it's really cute. It hides my tummy really, really well. Um, for those of you that don't know, I have uh, PCOS, which stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome. And because of that, when I gain weight, I gain it all in my stomach. So literally, I look pregnant. I don't know how many people have asked me if I was pregnant when my baby was due. I'm not pregnant, guys. Um, but I just think it's super, super cute. It goes a little bit lower in the back. So great with leggings. And I love the color. It's just so fall. I love it. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I got it in an extra large. It was originally $19.99 and I got it for $9.98. So pretty much 50% off on clearance. And I love that it's a V-neck uh, a V-neck neckline. The next shirt I got is a boat neck shirt from Target. I love the color um, and I got it in a double XL. It's from the Morona line, which is more the woman's section compared to like the junior section. I will say I shop in the junior section a lot. That's just me. Um, and I think this is just super cute and super flattering. I love the neckline. I love how it just elongates the neck and everything. And I just think it's super cute. And I love the green color that I picked it out in. They had a bunch of different colors. But this one was definitely my favorite. I might go and get more colors. This was only $12. So definitely a good price on it. Um, but yeah. Super cute. The last shirt I got from Target. After this, I just have the jacket I bought, and then we're done, thank God, because we're at 28 minutes and 28 seconds. So this is the shirt I got. It's just a cream-colored cold shoulder long sleeve top. Um, and as you can see, it has, like, purple and blue um, embroidery on it. And this is in a double XL, and it's from the Knox Rose Collection. Now... What I didn't know until I got home is that the Knox Rose collection is actually a maternity line. Um, so, my bee, but it hides my tummy really well, probably because it's a maternity shirt. Um, it did shrink quite a bit um, because when I first got it, it went down to like my mid thigh, which I was okay with. I'm still okay with how much it shrunk. It still looks good. Um, but so it. For those of you who are going to buy this, just be fair warned, it will shrink if you do not put it on the gentle cycle and air dry it. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was super cute. I love the neckline on it because it's kind of like a halter top, but at the same time, it still goes down low enough to where I don't feel like I'm choking because, you know, that's a thing. And I love it. I've worn that shirt quite a few times now. I want to say at least five times since I've gotten it. And last but by no means least, I have been looking for a jacket like this for two years. 
two years. But every single time I found one, it cost like 60 bucks. So, here we go. And I, I originally found lo, fell in love with this jacket because I saw Brienne Barbie um, wear a jacket very, very similar to this one. Obviously, it's not the exact same one. Um, freaking love her. I'll link her channel. Um, but yeah, and this is just what it looks like. So it's a, a denim jacket, but the sleeves are sweatshirt material. Like, how freaking cool is that? And it's so comfortable because denim, much like leather, can be very restricting when it comes to, like, moving. And, yeah, this is not. I got it in a extra large, and it fits really nicely. Um, and it was originally, I want to say, like, $35, and I got it for $17.80, which is not bad at all, considering, like I said, every single one I have found was, like... 60 bucks so I, I even would have paid the $35 for it but the fact that I found it on clearance for $17.80 just made it so much better so that's everything I got in this clothing haul um if you liked anything then just let me know if you have anything that's similar let me know or if we just have the same sense of style oh let me know <laughs> um I don't really go clothes shopping, but, you know, just recently I cleaned out my closet um, and because I went to put on a shirt for <sighs> Boston, actually, and I just found out that, hey, you don't fit anymore, and that's just kind of what kicked me in the butt to just go and find out everything that didn't fit and clear out my closet, and I was not left with much, so I needed to go shopping. And it helped because for my birthday, my mother-in-law got me a $75 gift card to Target. Um, so that's why there was so much more stuff from Target than anything else. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all later. Mwah.